Greetings. I like to make low poly pixel art. I didn't record the start of this character, but it came out pretty nice, so I decided to record the rest of it. I'm making a mimic from Dark Souls, in the same style as my last two characters. I'm going to use my same trick with modeling arms and legs by using a cube and having it rotated 45 degrees. Both in pixel art and low poly art, we lie and say things like squares and diamonds are circles. So we're going to lie right now and say this diamond is actually a circle. When texturing arms and legs, I'll have the inner parts be a darker shade and the outer parts be a lighter shade. One really useful tool in Blockbench is the Append Element to Template. This allows you to keep adding models to the texture you've created without destroying the UVs. So let's say you've created a model and you've used up all pixels on your 128 by 128 grid or textures area. If you create a new model and append that to the textures, it will basically buff out the texture size and make it bigger without destroying the actual pixel density and keep everything at the same resolution. I used two different palettes for this character. There is one for the chest itself, and then I swapped out to one I downloaded from low spec for the actual skin. You can see where I work on the arms here, I try to add a small dithering effect. That's where we use a checkerboard pattern to mimic the use of a third colour. Like my last few characters, I have all the arms and limbs separated into segments. That's just going to make it easier to rig later on if I want to pose the character. Another trick I use for modeling arms and legs is something I call a shaper. It's just a loop cut, loop cut around the cube, uh, scaled out a little bit to mimic a bicep or a thigh. So for example, if I had the model the leg all in one piece, I would have an extrusion or a loop cut, sorry, around the thighs, and then a loop cut around the calves, and then two loop cuts for the knee, and then two loop cuts for the uh, where the hips join and where the foot joins. And I do this before I rotate my cubes or my arms or legs at a 45 degree angle to mimic the shape of a circle. Kinda wish I recorded modeling the head and the torso area, though they're very, very simple shapes. The teeth themselves are just pyramids and they have very, very little texture area to work with. The tongue and the body are probably the most complex part of that model, but they're still very, very simple shapes to work with. I've been calling the models I make in Blockbench Tiny Models. I've gotten the name from PicoCAD, which is like an 8-bit modeling program made with Pico8, which is its own thing that I'm not going to try to discuss. PicoCAD can only make very, very simple low-poly models, and it uses the color palette from Pico8, which is a small 16 color palette. Blockbench is very similar, but you can make a little bit more complex models, and you can import different types of palettes and use as many colors as you want. Maybe it's just for PicoCAD models, but I feel like my models fall under that category. Low poly models with pixel art textures and a limited color palette. I've put the model up on itch if you wanted to download it. There'll be a link in the description. Okay, let's check out the final model and close out with some CRT time.